with your rehab programs, they're your guide. Like the set ones are your guide. You'll notice in your manual that you've got a whole plethora of exercises. Then I've put them, package them up. Like we learn first and then I package them up into a program. That is your guide. When you guys get stuck, until you've done this for tens of years, you won't be able to just pick it out of the blue and go, I know exactly what I'm doing with that person. I still have to go back online before that person comes in. I know Claire does it as well. Is look at that person's program. I put up on the screen because we've got a digital online thing. I go, oh, all right, they're doing this, right? They're doing that, 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 that. Oh, okay. And I've got notes in my diary how, if they are better, what am I progressing them to? So every, you know, we put a P as a plan. What's your plan? A lot of that plan for me is what exercise am I giving them next? If they were better, I can instantly go regress them. That's easy. For me, it's easy. It's just like, well, if they can't do that, if they're getting sore doing that, I'll just pull it back one. But if they're better and they come in, you go, right, this is what we're doing today. And I've maybe planned a few things. Some of those exercises, you can just go, well, I can just take all four of those ones and just ratchet them down one level. And all of a sudden, that's a new exercise program for them. You just subtly pull them up a level. And that level might, like I talk about, might be bands, might be load, might be stability, might be difficulty. Okay, you might actually change some of the exercises. They might throw some away and put in some new ones. Um, but always making sure that that set program is a guideline for you to go to, if it's a manual, if it's online, whatever, and go, yeah, okay, I'm gonna do that next. Because you won't be able to remember everything. But you've also gotta make sure you don't just go, I, I'm definitely doing that with every single client. You've gotta go, no, that's not gonna suit them. They won't be able to do that. I could do this one, or maybe that one. And test it out with them. Because like I said, everyone's different. You may have to, unfortunately, test a few clients with your exercises. Um, and then surgery. Now, the interesting thing about surgery, for knee surgery and shoulder surgery, there is set protocols. If you know you've been given stuff by a surgeon or if you ask for a protocol by a surgeon, there's like this, 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 and it goes through the weeks. There's no exercise on that. That's your job. You create the exercises based on the program. You know, you, and then it'll be pretty simple from a surgeon. You know, do external rotation exercises. Well, what are they? Your job is to go, well, I've got a whole bunch of those. Let's do those and work out which one. But you know, do you use bands? Do you, you know, how much load? They might give you a lifting requirement. Same with the knee. There's a whole protocol when they can and can't do things like jumping. With the lower back, say for discectomy surgeries or spinal fusions, laminectomies, there's not much protocol going on. Yeah, you know, don't lift five kilos for the next six weeks. That is it. You know, there wasn't much going on. And we do a lot of surgeon, you know, questions about, you know, oh, they'll be okay. They don't have a massive, you can or cannot do this by week one to zero to three to four to six. We have to come up with that. Okay, so you've got maybe lifting restrictions. But what you've got to do is, okay, this person had a disectomy. The reason they got that was a posterior disc bulge herniation. So you still have that protocol of like when they were perhaps an injury person and you're not gonna push them into flexion on day one because it's just gonna open up that problem. Okay, you're not gonna go and get them running, are you? Because of the anatomy, you know what's happened. Well, hopefully you've researched, you know what's happened in that surgery. Hopefully you've been to a surgery and you know what that person's gone through and you know the time frames of healing and how long that is gonna take that person before that can bear load. And if they need to bear load, what are you gonna do for that core system to enable that to happen so they don't break down and get sore. Okay? So use those surgical time frames, even if they are so minimal, you've got to then use them as a bit of a guideline as well. Um, and again, make sure you've got those components in. You'll see, like I, we'll talk about how, what I do for say, a lumbar disc problem. There are certain components that you sort of got to have to put in. Now this is where you go, well, I can't cookie cut a rehab program, but I definitely want to put in, I can't miss certain things, no matter who that person is. You know, if they've got a posterior disc bulge, they need extension, okay? There's certain things that you're gonna to have to put in and not miss in that program. And I still get people coming in that have been given, been another physio and been given, you know, knees to chest to relieve their back for a disc bulge. And they've just, have you begin done this one? No, right. I know how to fix you in like 10 minutes, let's go. And then all of a sudden they do some extension, they go, oh my God, I'm so much better. Have you not done any of that? No, no, no. 
So this is where you know, this is still happening. And so this is where your job is to go, you know, work out exactly what does this person need based on what they've asked or what you've told them. Ask the questions. You know, what have you been doing? It gives you a bit of an insight of what works and what doesn't work. You're not going to repeat yourself. And they might say, oh, I've done those exercises, it didn't work. And you go, okay, maybe that person's a little bit different. Or maybe you have to reinforce, no, you actually have to keep doing that. You just didn't do it long enough. You need to keep doing that. That is something we are going to keep in your program. But we're also going to do this, this, and this.